We tell them we are social business. We are not interested in your profit. You keep your profit. You just give us the money back. And we, our job is done. You create jobs for others. Now this is your job. It's a shame that uh, uh, the women coming from the villages, getting trained and producing such beautiful apparels, beautiful garments, uh, work for only 11 cents per hour. Companies who use her makes lots of money. So that's a kind of a mockery of the whole system that we have. So that became a big issue uh, to discuss. And I was suggesting some options how it can be done. Uh, there's at least 2.5 which is a poverty level. I said, at least move them above that 2.5, make it 2.51. And I have given many suggestions about tagging the uh, garments, putting a special tag. I called it happy workers tag. This tag ensures that she has good health care, She has good insurance. She has uh, safety for their children. You buy the product from $10 in Bangladesh per piece. You sell it the moment it arrives. You sell it in the storefront for $50. All you need to do, whatever you're selling in the market, add one more extra dollar to it. It will change the life of all these women completely. We need that support that they cannot get uh, below $2.50. In all those international companies producing things for their own home market, there should be a international minimum wage, not the national minimum wage, which is relevant to our own country. Because we are working for that country, those countries have a minimum wage for those countries. We are the front line of the, of the climate damage that will happen. And today there's a climate migration. People are moving from the south because the, the south is becoming more saline. Cultivation is becoming difficult. So therefore uh, seeking their livelihood, they're moving forward. And in our own uh, design of uh, uh, our objectives, we put uh, climate as a number one issue. About 70% of the people have no electricity. So we thought this would be a good opportunity to bring renewable energy. That's why we created the Grameen Solar Energy Company. At the beginning, we are not sure. Everybody said it would not work here. It may work in Europe, but definitely it's not for Bangladesh. It's too expensive, too uncertain. Finally, gradually, people started learning that it's a good project, a good idea to have electricity at home with your own, you don't have to buy kerosene. And the kerosene is a health hazard, is a fire hazard, everything. So people started moving in, and it will become three million in the next three years, uh, the total. So we are the largest off-grid solar system in the world. Thank you again for an inspiring hour uh, spent, uh, spent with you. I think that all of us, well, each and every one of us will come out of this room with more energy, uh, maybe more entrepreneurship. Thank you.